Storm Tracker 4 is dry right now. We have a few showers way up to the north, north of the thumb here, and some that we had earlier in Ontario. Those are moving off to the east. So very quiet evening in store. So let's talk about how this is all going to play out. Now, again, we have this little front up here, and this is going to be sagging down very slowly during the night. It's a, it, it's a regular cold front, nothing special about it. It just doesn't have a lot of moisture to work with. So there could be a few scattered showers, maybe even a little wintry mix, because overnight lows are going to get down into the mid 30s. So could be a little wintry mix or a few little raindrops around, but uh, this is going to be more the uh, exception than the rule. I think more of us will be dry than wet late tonight into tomorrow, and we'll have a few more showers that are possible around the lunch hour, and then this stuff all really starts diminishing during the afternoon. I don't think there's really going to be much around as we get into the afternoon drive, so no problem. Really, most of us won't have a problem with either rush hour tomorrow, and then notice the clouds are going to start diminishing as we get into tomorrow evening, so becoming partly cloudy. We'll actually uh, probably will see a little bit of sun around sunset, but I want you to watch something here. Now, this is, again, you see this partly cloudy sky here. You watch, you see, just see some stuff just kind of this kind of like just develop right there. That's a fog signal here on the model. And so uh, we're going to keep a close eye on that because that could be some dense fog developing late Tuesday night into first thing Wednesday morning. But then that stuff goes away. I don't think we see any rain. Don't worry about these things. I don't think we see any rain on Wednesday and temps well into the 50s to near 60 and even warmer on Thursday. So let's talk about the jet stream pattern and give you a sense of what's going on. So here it is right here to our north, which allowed the mild air in today. Now tomorrow it's a little tough to see, but it's like almost like a small little mini little dip here that will allow the cool down tomorrow. Then this jet goes back to the north. So Wednesday, Thursday, we're in the warm air. Then as we get into Saturday, a nice dip to the south. So Saturday, it's not going to be like this past Saturday with the 20s, but it is going to be a a day where we're going to have some uh, some uh, 40s around and it's going to be breezy and then it warms all the way back up next Tuesday. So tonight 34 the overnight low and then tomorrow we get up to 48 for the high and then here's your seven day forecast. Look at that 60 on Wednesday 65 on Thursday and then we cool off Friday into this coming weekend. So just get ready to enjoy it. Some uh, yeah. St. Patrick's 60s. We've earned it.